Okay class, so today we are going to continue in solving indices equation involving two terms, right? Okay, look at 7a. So we have 1 to 5 to the power of x and 25 here. Yeah? So therefore, we can write uh, in the base of 5, right? So the idea is to make it in the base of 5, right? So we have 5 to the power of 3 3x. On your right hand side, so we have 5 squared to the power of x squared plus 3x minus 1. Alright, okay, so we will have here 3 to the power, uh, 5 to the power of 3x equals to 5. So I have to expand the power here. So we have 2x squared. Every term, alright, must be multiplied by 2. Alright, minus 2. Right. Okay, since we have the same base on your left and on your right hand side, we can easily compare the power class. So, we will have 3x equals to 2x squared plus 6x minus 2. Right. And now, we can combine the like terms, okay, uh, to have the quadratic equation. So, 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals to 0. Right, and now we can easily factorize. So, we will have 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 equals to 0. So, therefore, the final answer will give me x equals to half and also x equals to negative 2. Right, okay, so later you can try to do b. Okay, alright, so... The next question, right? Okay, is to solve for the following equation. All right. So for this equation involving index equation, this is actually a uh, an index equation with three terms. All right. So for three terms, we will use substitution method. All right. So again, we are trying to choose the same base. All right. So we will make nine this nine. All right. As base three, since three is the smallest base in this question right okay so i will write 9 to the power of x as 3 to the power of 2x right minus okay this one okay it's actually the same right for this one i have to factorize my 3 to the power of x squared minus 4 3 to the power of x plus 3 equals to 0 Okay, so now I will let y equals to 3 to the power of x. Alright, so therefore, I will have a quadratic equation y squared minus 4y plus 3 equals to 0. Alright, I can factorize now. So, I will have y minus 3 times y minus 1 equals to 0. Alright, therefore, I will have y equals to 3 and also y equals to 1. So, remember class, we are finding for the value of x. So, I have to change it back in terms of x. So, therefore, I can have 3 to the power of x here equals to 3 to the power of 1. So, therefore, my x is equals to 1. Alright, so in this case, we have 3 to the power of x equals to 1. 1 can also be written in the base of 3, which is 3 to the power of 0. So, since we have the same base, so we can just compare the power. So, we have x equals to 0. Therefore, my final answer will be x equals to 0 and x equals to 1. Alright, so that is uh, for 3 terms. Lah. Right. So, later... Right, you can try to do the same thing for B. Alright, so that's all. Thank you.